explain one thing that's going on with uh, After Effects and how it may look for you. So you're working on your name and the project is to make your name uh, in 3D with a light and eventually a camera and have your name rotate. And as you can see, as my name rotates, the D and the A disappear, okay? So, and then they come back again. So I want to show you what's going on so you understand how it all looks. So here's what I have in my composition. I have royal blue, which is my background layer that I made, my, my solid layer. I have my name, and then I've added a light. So I'm part way through this. Let's change the view in this. So first off, I'm asking a lot of my computer. I'm going to make it be half resolution so it's just a little easier. And I'm going to change my active camera to the top view. Remember, we're working in 3D, okay? I made my name be uh, three-dimensional. So I want to see what it looks like from the top. And you'll see the top. Now here's, this is my spotlight, all right? It's actually back a little further. And this is my name, and here's my solid layer. So you'll see when I turn my name, remember I said the D and the A were disappearing? It's because they're behind the solid layer, which is right here, all right? So they kind of, it forces my name to go like behind the background. So we want to make a change. And the other thing you can do, you can see this in like four different views, okay? So you can see, this is what you were seeing originally. Here's uh, the top view. This is like a, a top view, two of the top views. And here's the uh, right side view. All right, and you can change this around so that now you see the front view, here's the top, and here's the right angle. Don't get confused by all this. So let's simplify it a little bit. Let's just give you a top view for a second. And I really just need one view to do this. So I want to select my background layer, which remember, I called it royal blue. You can call it anything else you want. You have, remember, the axis, right? The X and the Y. And now, because we made this a 3D layer, it also has, and you can tell because it's got this little cube, you also have a Z layer. And the Z is how far back or forward you are. Remember, we're looking at a bird's eye view here. So this is the layer. So if I'm turning my name, D-A-V-E, right, those you see the four shapes, and two are disappearing, then it means I need to push that position back Z, all right? So I'm going to increase this. And see how, like, as I push it farther back, the name stays, like, in front? Let's look at it now. And I'm going to go back to the active camera so you see the front. It doesn't look any different from this view, right? But you can see I've actually more is in dark, okay? So there's more in shadow because I've pushed things farther back. So now when I rotate my name, ooh, you'll see I'm still, I'm still losing things, but not as much. Maybe like half the V and the D. See, there it goes again. Let's change again to a top view from the active camera. And you'll see that, yeah, I still do have some back there. So now I'm not. I'm going to do it right with this setup here. Make sure I'm on royal blue position. And see how I am just sliding this back farther? Make sure I'm on position. So there it is. So now when I spin my name, it's not cutting off on the background. It's still a little close to the background, so I'm going to push it back a little further, just about like that. So let's go back to the active camera. And you'll see, now I understand what's going on here. I'm going to show you that in a second. You'll see what happens when I spin my name. And now we, we, all, we always see it, right? It doesn't go away. But now I have the background color of my composition and I have the solid layer. So my solid layer now is not actually big enough to fill 1920 by 1080. So very, very simple. All I want to do is go to my solid layer, select that, and you know what? I'm just going to scale it up so that I fill this. Okay, so now 
my solid layer is totally big enough I can play my composition and you'll see it's a little slow but I've just spun my name okay so I hope that's helpful remember to change your view just come right over here top and you'll see here's my background royal blue here's my name and here back here a little bit more we'll uh, come back a little further uh, let's go to like 50 percent here's my camera okay or I'm sorry here's my spotlight okay so one more thing while I have you I'm gonna show you what I can do with my spotlight my spotlight now is way out here and again we're working in the z-axis I can bring my light in or farther out and you'll see just like any spotlight if I bring it farther in it's got a narrower zone of focus farther out much much wider so let's see what it looks like when I bring my light closer and I'm gonna go back to active camera and you'll see that more of my outer area is dark because that camera's zone of interest is kind of tighter but if I were to bring my camera out farther then it kind of uh, widens that field of view if I hit the end of my window just simply hold the hold the shift key down in this case I kind of want that sort of neat vignette of the edges okay so now you're seeing my name spin it looks like it's spotlight like I'm pretty famous I got little shadows and I'm part way there uh, it's key to understand how kind of space works using After Effects remember you're working in 3d this is your solid layer here's your name here's your li your light all right cool thanks